we value the items on the left more, so individuals and interactions. So we find it's very important that we closely collaborate with our business, that we value, validate what we have built. Is what we have built, like a functionality or a new solution or a product, does it meet the expectations uh, of our business? So individuals and interactions are very important. And here you see uh, a cartoon which says, my team has created a very lofty solution, but we're still looking for a problem to go with it. So actually what it means, sometimes we tend to come up with solutions while we didn't really listen to our business, or we didn't really listen to the problem that the business has. <coughs> so you spend a lot of time and effort in building something, but at the end it's not being used. So this is the, the first basic principle. The second one is working software over comprehensive documentation. So yesterday I highlighted it as well during my presentation that we want, in, especially in Scrum, we want just enough documentation. We don't want our development team to spend all their time in functional requirements documents or functional solution documents. We want them to work on the actual solution. And of course we need to make a document, for example, for maintenance or for handover to bow, but it's not the main priority. And if our business wants certain documentation, we can also add it to the product backlog as a user story, for example. So working software, that's most important because that's the thing what the business will value. They want some functionality. And there it says, quote, it turns out that people aren't buying our product because it's stupid. So if we have created the best documentation but our product doesn't work, then the business doesn't really value it. Then the third one, customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Um, who works with external parties or with vendors or suppliers in projects? Quite some people, eh? So do you also uh, experience that certain contracts which have been made with suppliers can block <coughs> a process or a development? Yeah. business, but we also want to get their feedback. So if they say, okay, it looks really good, but I want to have some min minor adjustments, we want to respond on that. So we want to do that and we don't want to stick too much uh, to a plan, which we often do in the waterfall approach. Because at the start of a project, we make a detailed planning and then often we tend to stick to that. But that's not the most important thing because you never know what happens in the future or in the current situation. And as you see in the cartoon, it says, it has become to my attention that the building is on fire. So that's a manager. And he says, let's bring in a consultant next week and see what sort of action he recommends. So of course, that's not gonna help you because at the end, the whole building will be gone. 